Hello. In this video, we're just going to go over how to execute simple JavaScript commands inside the browser. Um, so JavaScript was originally developed to run inside the Netscape 2 browser, um, and that was way back in the day, um, and it became a standard in 1997. So all browsers use JavaScript, and so the first thing to understand if you're starting to program with this stuff is that JavaScript is inside your browser. You don't have to install it from anywhere. It's there. Um, we're going to be focusing on JavaScript as a language for web development. Um, it's important to know that JavaScript has evolved now and it's used outside of the browser. But for what we're doing, we're going to use it as a tool to make web pages and to do some interesting things. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up Chrome and we want to get access to developers tools. So if you come up here and you have the three dots and you click and you come down here to more tools and you'll see this developer tools right there. And we pull this up. And along the top here, we have elements, console, source. We have a whole bunch of things. But what we're interested in specifically is the console. Um, and so, you know, it might have come up like this, where this is the actual content of the web page. You can see as I highlight different parts, it kind of changes. This is the CSS. I can turn on and off the CSS, and you can see what it does. This is useful for other things. But we want to come up here and select the console. The other thing you might find is that the position might be different and it's good to know how to shift the position of this depending on what you're doing um, mine if we have three dots right here mine's on the right hand side of the screen i can put it on the left hand side i can put it at the bottom i can pull it right out so i often would like to put it on the bottom like this so now you can type javascript commands directly into here and they will execute so we're going to start off with some really simple javascript commands and the first one is console dot log and I'm going to say hello world um, so when I press enter this will execute that JavaScript command and notice it prints out hello world now you'll get this uh, this other text below called undefined because some other things are happening here but really what we want to see is that this is now executing that single JavaScript command I can run other commands like this alert and I can say alert hello world and alert is a special function inside JavaScript that does this so we get a pop-up it says hello world um, and then we're good to go likewise I can now create some variables so I can say something like x is equal to 9 plus 1 which gives us 10 and it tells us now that is value of 10 so now if I come down here and I say alert x I get 10 popping up because I've created a variable the last thing I want to show you is what happens when I type in the word document. Notice when I type in the word document, the entire web page lights up. Um, what happens now when I press enter is I get all the HTML that drives that page. And at this stage, there's no need to understand what's actually happening here. But I share this command with you because it becomes a very important one as we move forward and we start to build web pages. So what you can walk away from this understanding is that when I type in the word document, document is a special word in JavaScript. And what that does is it accesses the HTML that defines the web page. And then eventually this will lead us to be able to grab different things from the web page, change the way things look. The last thing I want to show you before we kind of close this up is that if I come over here and I open up a new tab, okay, and I'm going to pull up the, the console again. Now I could use, you know, the drop down, more tools, developer tools, but I can also use the shortcut, which is command option I, and there it is. Um, notice, let me do this, console.log x, because remember we, we made this variable x and we gave x the value of 10, and I get an error. And so this is important to note, that is, x only exists inside this tab. It is a, a variable that is local to this tab. So in this tab, that X does not exist. Again, all we want to walk away with this from is an understanding that JavaScript is run through our browsers and that we can execute you know, small code segments inside our browsers using the console. And this becomes really useful as you head into developing web pages and are trying to test some commands, identify different elements. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a wonderful day.